Welcome back to Model High School, everybody. We're inside Woodard Gymnasium. Really looking forward to our nightcap. It's the Model Blue Devils taking on the Unity Lions and really, really great storylines coming up with this matchup. Of course, Davey Fisher, who's the head coach of the Unity Lions. He used to play for Jacob Travis, the head coach of the Model Blue Devils uh, about a decade ago. And boy, saw some really, really good basketball play with Davey Fisher and that group and uh, really had a, a, a lot of fun watching those guys play back in the day. And he's an excellent basketball coach. Yeah, yeah, and a guy who has some experience at the collegiate level, brings that back to this Unity program, and is really just trying to establish uh, this very young program. This, this Lions team has got some talent, uh, but they certainly are under good direction with Davey Fisher. Oh, uh, there's no question about it. And of course, I mentioned to you during the girls broadcast, I'll mention it to you. Here's we start this pregame show here for the boys game. I went back and, and listened to your preview that you did with him ahead of the season just to get a little bit of insight and review on his team. And I really like to listen to Davey Fisher talk because he's very measured in what he says. He's obviously a thinker and uh, he's one of those guys that really cares about these kids. And one of the things that he says, and it's a very simple thing, their goal each and every day when they practice and play games and things of that nature is to do a very simple two word thing, and that is get better. And I think that's something that you've really seen happen with this team over the last bit that he's been the head coach is they have definitely gotten better. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you, you, you know, and, and, and this, the opportunity to compete against local teams for Unity as they build the program is something they're very excited about. Uh, you saw some uh, a really good effort from them in the Christmas tournament. Uh, they, they they stayed with Rome late in the, late into that game and, and kept that competitive. Uh, they've got the talent and the, and the leadership to uh, to come in here and give model problems. And one box that they were able to check, sticking on the theme of the Christmas tournament, they picked up a win there in the first round over Almerchi, and that was the first win in the Christmas tournament for the boys' basketball program at Unity. So that was a big thing that happened early on in the season for them. They're seven and eight so far, three and zero oh in region play and not afraid to schedule tough opponents in their non-region schedule, as you pointed out. And I think that's a sign that this is, they'd really like to take this program to the next level, and they're yep. working hard to do it. And they've got to, they like to play a dribble drive offense. You know, Jay Davis has the ability to get into the paint and then kick out. You've got two sharp shooters with Jordan Wilkerson and Bowen Childs, and then Andreo Sawyer, he's a tough cat too, man. So they're, they're gonna come at you with that starting five. What you mentioned in, our, in a segment a while back though, is the depth of model I think could be a problem and, and the difference maker in this game. Yeah, again, you've got model where they've got 10 or 11 guys that they play on the regular, and that could be an issue down the stretch in particular here for this Unity team. But one of the things that Coach Fisher did talk about a lot um, in, in, in the interview that you did was how much of conditioning they do throughout practice. He runs these guys absolute to death, and that's one of those things that can certainly factor in when you get into a situation with a team in particular that has a lot more depth than you is those hard practices. Of yeah. course, Model does the same thing. So um, anyway, but we've got about three minutes until we start our second game. It's the Model Blue Devils and the Unity Lions. We'll step out for two and a half minutes. We'll come back, feed you the starting lineups and get things going inside Woodard Gymnasium. We'll be back for Model and Unity after this.
Northwest Georgia Media would like to say thank you to the following sponsors. Mathis Trailer and Equipment, Georgia Highlands College, Snodgrass and Robinson Plastic Surgery Specialist, WC Timber, Dogwood Books, Shannon Pharmacy, and Crestview Angus. Thank you to all our sponsors for making this broadcast possible. WC Timber has been serving the Northwest Georgia and Northeast Alabama area since 1991. As a complete tree and timber service, WC Timber can handle thinning and clear cutting, tree chipping, stump removal, and storm damage, as well as bucket truck and crane services. For more information, visit them on the web at wctimber.com or give them a call at area code 706-238-1214. WC Timber and Tree Service. Courtside inside Water Gymnasium as we get ready for our nightcap. It is the Mono Blue Devils hosting the Unity Lions and a non region tilt between these two teams. We'll give you the starting lineups and then we'll get this thing going. We're going to start with the visiting Unity Lions. Again, we talked in depth about their head coach, Davey Fisher, how his playing days here in high school were at model for Jacob Travis back in the day. Uh, playing back here or coaching back here at model, we'll start with number one, Jay Davis. Number two, Jordan Wilkerson in the starting lineup here for Unity. Number five, Bowen Childs. Number 21, Andreo Sawyer. And number 22, Peter Whitehead. And that should round out your starting lineup here for the Unity Lions. And again, head coach is Davey Fisher. Now we'll move on to the model Blue Devils and their starting lineup for tonight, Jacob Travis is the head coach, of course, and we're going to start with the usual suspects. We'll start with number 11, Stevie Dallas, a 5'9 junior guard. Number 14, Noah Travis, 5'10 junior guard as well. Number 15, Riley Chapman, a 5'5 senior. Number 23, Chase Allen, a 6'5 junior. And rounding out the starting five for your model Blue Devils is going to be number 33, a 6'9 senior, the big fella, Jeremiah Hurd. Jacob Travis is the head coach. Really looking forward to this one, Ian. Yeah, yeah, should be a good ball game. If Unity comes out shooting hot, they can stay in this thing. The last game that Unity played was on Thursday against Praise Academy. That resulted in a 76 to 50 win, so they got a lot of points in that one. 17 points for Jay Davis in that one. Speaking of threes, Jordan Wilkerson was the leading scorer for Unity against Praise. He had 22 points and he made six threes in that game. So yeah. that's definitely something that, of course, Coach Travis has talked to his team about is not letting these guys have any easy looks from around the perimeter. But as you pointed out, you got to deal with Jay Davis and his ability to get to the rim and drive and things of that nature as well. So they can do a lot. And on the flip side, one thing we didn't talk about is that advantage in the post as far as the height uh, with Chase Allen and Jeremiah's Herb. So depth and height. Ball is going to be tipped. And coming out with it's going to be Bowen Childs, and Unity's going to open up with possession of the basketball. Jay Davis going to send it on to Wilkerson. Now back up top to Jay. They go to the left wing side over to Sawyer. Sawyer feeds it back up to Jay, and we're underway. 7.45 left to go here in the first quarter. Unity with the first possession of the game. Jay Davis is going to lob it across to Sawyer. They've got 20 seconds left to work with here on this shot clock. Wilkerson lost it to Noah Travis. Here comes Model back the other way, working pretty quick. They're going to kick it out here to Chase Allen. The feed outside to Riley Chapman, and he opens it up, knocking down a three ball. Yeah, the senior stepped into that one, knocked it down. And you can tell Model is keying on the three-point line here on defense. They are out and challenging the ball. Indeed they are. Jay Davis going to drive, works inside, loses the handle, and it's coming back to model. He hits the deck hard, too. Yeah, it was incidental, uh, but just got his feet tangled up. So ball will go model's way. 
Chase Allen to Stevie Dallas. Dallas will feed it across to Allen, back to Stevie. Now on the left wing side of Noah Travis, the lob underneath. A kick out here to Chase Allen. Riley Chapman for three. That one bounces high off the rim, and Sawyer's there for the rebound for Unity. Lions come back the other way. Lions down low, ball is stripped. Coming out with it, Stevie Dallas, the lob underneath to Chase Allen, and he goes for the dunk. It bounces high off the rim, and that's out of bounds. It's coming back to Unity. We were ready. Yeah, we? They wanted to bring the gem down. <laughs> oh, boy. Just I, shot. I have a feeling between these two teams, we'll get another look at some dunk attempts in this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jay Davis can jump out of the building, too. Jay Davis with the ball is going to leave it off for his teammate. Now they go back up top, try to get it to a cutting Davis. The passing lane is shut down, and Model steals it away. Noah Travis with it, feeds it off to the right wing side to Stevie Dallas. Now back to Noah, who's standing on the M at center court. Feeds it right back to Dallas. Travis on to Chase Allen, left wing side. Riley Chapman decided not to shoot the three. Now they get it back out to the big fella, Jeremiah Hurd inside to Allen, post up and scores. Maybe a hook. Soft touch around the basket from Allen. Model on a 5-0 run to start the game. Jay Davis across the center court strike. Going to feed it off to Wilkerson. Jacks up the three, and it's through. What a shot from Wilkerson. And he is not shy. He'll take the shot. That one was contested. Buried it. 5-3, model up by two. Riley Chapman on the other end, deep in the left wing side. Gives it over to Stevie Dallas. Now back to Chapman, going to try to lob it underneath the Allen. He fires out to Noah Travis, open three. That one's off the side of the rim. Allen comes out with it, kisses it off the glass and through. Well, second chance points will kill you. Model up seven to three, a four point lead with 5.17. There's a three ball on the way for Unity. That one caroms off the rim. Allen's there for the rebound. Everybody clears out. Models in their white uniforms with blue letters and numbers and black trim. Unity's in their Navy uniforms with gray letters and numbers. Noah Travis out to Chase Allen for three, and it's in. Model coming out hot. Allen with seven points to lead the charge, and that's going to force Coach Fisher to call a timeout here for Unity. 4.51 left first quarter, Model 10, Unity 3. We're back in 30. Coach Fisher calls a timeout, try to rally the troops here. Unity fall is falling behind 10 to three here. 445 less first quarter. There's a three ball out of the timeout and it's through. What a great looking shot from Whitehead. I think that was Sam James. Was it? Yes. Noah Travis on the other end. Was that a two or a three? I looked two. down at my score, but 12 to six. Jay Davis for three on the other end. That one, I believe, got blocked. Right. Sam James, 30. What number is Sam James? 33. 33, okay. Good deal. I'll move that one down here. Stevie Dallas with the ball into the paint. Feeds it out to an open Noah Travis for three, and he strings it through. Whoa. The model coming out guns blazing. Noah's got five points in this game. Jay Davis with the ball, going to feed it, try to get it to Wilkerson. Chase Allen shuts it down, though, and steals it away. Dallas glides to the bucket, misses the shot, and the rebound is going to go to Unity. Childs has got it, and he goes back the other way for the Unity Lions. They got it on the right wing side, back up top to Sawyer. Sawyer will set up the half-court offense, kicks it out. There's Childs, shakes off a defender, puts it up, and that one's off the back of the rim. Noah Travis, the feed to Riley Chapman on the left wing side. Chapman going to heave it across to Stevie Dallas. Now to Noah. 
Noah being guarded by Wilkerson will work, goes into the paint and kisses it off the glass, won't go. A couple of tip backs there from Jeremiah's Hurd. The second one goes in. Hurd is such an intimidating presence under Ooh, the basket. He really is. Wilkerson on to Jay Davis. Davis to feed outside of Childs on the right wing side. Childs to Davis, now to Wilkerson. To the left wing they go. Sawyer, three ball in the way and through. Good looking shot from Andreo Sawyer. All nine of Unity's points have come from behind the arc. Chase Allen with it at the top of the key for the Blue Devils. Noah Travis on the right wing feeds it out to Stevie Dallas. 2.42 left first quarter. Heard inside of Allen, wide open Chapman for three, and that one's left short. Allen chases down the rebound, though, gets it off the backboard, and we're going to have a whistle. Kick ball, and it'll go Unity's way. So we get ready for Sam James to inbound the ball here for Unity Christian. We're going to have some subs into the game, and we talked earlier in the pregame about the depth for this model team. They're going to cycle a bunch of new players into the game. Mason. Denson and Mathis. And you still have Stevie Dallas and Jeremiah's Hurd who remain on the floor for the Blue Devils. Ball is knocked free and kicked out of bounds by John Mason, so it stays on Unity's side of the floor. Model leads at 17 to nine, so an eight point lead in the early goings in this one. 2.18 left to go first quarter. Wilkerson triggers it into Davis here for Unity, working left to right there on their side of the floor. They go into the lane, kick it out. Sawyer lost the handle for a second. He's trapped, bounces it down to Davis, drives baseline, works around Jeremiah's herd, got it to the rim, couldn't get it to go through. Nice move. He almost finished that. Would have been quite a remarkable shot. Owen Mathis dribbles baseline after taking the ball on the left wing side, feeds it out to John Mason, back to Owen Mathis, and the ball bounces out of bounds, couldn't handle the pass, and it's coming back to Unity Christian. It looked like Model might blow the roof off this place, but Unity hit, has hit a big three and kind of settled in on defense, gotten a couple of stops. Jay Davis across the stripe at midcourt, dribbles around a pick, now feeds it back up top to Childs. Now on to Davis, good ball movement, but couldn't get the shot. Denson gets the rebound here for Model, and Dallas will bring it across. Dallas with it, being guarded right now by Childs. They'll send it left wing side, back around to Bryson Denson, and that's going to be on the floor. Yes, and they got Willingham. Wilkerson, sorry. I don't know why I went Willingham there. <laughs> there are some Willinghams that played up there in Somerville for trying football no. team, and I think also Chattooga. Maybe that's where it came from. Stevie Dallas set to feed it in here for the Blue Devils. He surveys the floor. Ball is poked free by Childs, and it goes out of bounds. It's going to stay with Model. Good effort there by Childs, though, to get his hands in there. Unity going to make another substitution. Check it in. Was Peter Whitehead, I believe? Mason with it. Now up to Bryson Denson to the left wing side. They go to Stevie Dallas. Dallas on to Owen Mathis. Back up top to Mason. Bryson Denson going to make a move towards the low block. Nice move towards the bucket, but can't get the finish. Rebound's going to be taken by Whitehead. Here come the Lions. Jay Davis goes coast to coast, tries to get it to the rim, feeds it out. There's Sawyer. That one caroms over the rim. Ball's poked loose, and it's going to stay with Unity. Well, a nice job there by Thomas Patterson to keep his hands up and stay stationary there and affect Jay Davis's attempt. So all subs into the game right now, except for Stevie Dallas here for model. Jay Davis with the ball, takes instructions from Coach Fisher. 43 seconds on the clock, 10 left on the shot clock if you're Unity. They're going to heave it over to Whitehead, back up top to Wilkerson. That one's going to be left well short. Denson's got it. And with 30 seconds, the shot clock is turned off here for Model. They fire it right wing side. Mathis for three and knocks it down. Wow, what a shot. So many shooters on this Model team. Jay Davis across the timeline here for Unity. Model has built an 11 point lead, 20 to nine with 14 seconds and the shot clock turned off. Sawyer starts to work on Denson. Turn around, jump shot, and that one caroms off the rim. Mason's got it, five seconds to work with. Model's got to work quick. 
Bounces it over to Mathis, long range three, and that's off the rim. No good, and that's the end of the first quarter. Modeled up, 20 to nine over Unity. Let's send it back to the studio for a one minute break. We'll be back in moments. We get ready to start the second quarter with model leading it by 11, 20 to nine. Chase Allen's gonna trigger it in motion here for the Blue Devils. He'll send it in the backcourt to Stevie Dallas. Five players got in the scorebook for model there in that first quarter. And we'll tell you more about that as we move along. But right now, Stevie Dallas has got the ball, trying to work around Childs, goes into the paint, feeds it out to Noah Travis, puts it up, still kind of had his feet moving on that shot. But the rebound goes to model Chase Allen, strong move, gets it through and gets fouled. And that height advantage in the posts is something I think Model will lean on going forward in this game. Now, if they can get it to Allen and Herod down low, there's just not really about anybody on this Unity roster that can challenge them down there. Allen's at the free throw line right now trying to convert a three-point play. He does, and he's got 10 points, see, and leads all scores in this basketball game. Model up 23 to nine. Jay Davis goes to the left wing side with it, hands it off to Wilkerson. They go back up top, get it to James. James in the feed to Jay Davis, who makes a move towards the bucket, and it won't go. What a great move, though. Yeah. Noah Travis stands on the Woodard Gymnasium logo, sends it left wing side. Here's Chapman trying to lob it underneath. It's picked off. Jay Davis bounces it across to the right wing side of Childs. Back out to Sawyer. Sawyer being guarded right now by Allen. Back around to Wilkerson. They get it to Davis. Davis will make a move around a pick into the lane. Challenges underneath, but can't get the bucket. Yeah, or the foul. Shot off the glass. As a matter of fact, we've not seen any free throw attempt. Well, we've seen one free throw attempt in this game. That was for Model. Wilkerson for three, left that one short. And Wilkerson tries to chase it down, but he can't quite catch up with it. And this is a crucial time for the Unity Christian Lions. If they're going to stay in this ball game, they've got to start converting on some of these trips on the offensive end. Model made four threes in that first quarter. Unity made three. Stevie Dallas to Jeremiah's herd. Now inside to Allen, bangs it off the glass and through. And they got a switch there, and you had Bowen Childs matched up on Chase Allen. You're going to take advantage of that every time. There's Jay Davis for three, and it's through. All four buckets in the game for Unity of the three point variety 25 to 12, 13 point model lead. Noah Travis in front of the Unity bench with it. Model working right to left. Jeremiah served back to Noah. Noah's going to feed it back around to Stevie Dallas. He works around a screen. Now over to Riley Chapman on the left wing side. Sends it outside to Chase Allen. Jacks up the three. That one's off the back of the rim. Sawyer comes out with it for Unity. No look pass to Austin Wilkerson. Backs up, puts up the three. That one's off the back of the rim. It's going to stay with Unity. And they're going to fling it over to the model bench out of bounds. Turnovers are killing them. We're going to see Peter Whitehead come into the game. Bryson Denson into the game for Model. So right now for Model, you got Chase Allen, Noah Travis, Riley Chapman, Jeremiah Surd, and Bryson Denson. 
for Unity. You've got Childs, Whitehead, as you pointed out, Jay Davis, Wilkerson, and Sawyer. Ball is poked free. Nope, not Sawyer. James. James. James came in for Sawyer just now. Noah Travis lobs it over to Jeremiah's herd. Heard at the high post. Now going to feed it out to Noah. Puts up the three, and that one's off the side of the rim. Jay Davis gets the board. Here he comes back, working coast to coast, drives, then backs up. He's going to continue to dribble. 5.07 left second quarter. Jay Davis with the ball for Unity. He starts to work inside, trying to get it to the rim. That one's off the rim. Whitehead gets blocked by Jeremiah's herd. And now Model brings it back the other way. And Whitehead's the biggest body they've gotten. Heard didn't have to leave the floor to swat that shot. Chase Allen, the Euro step, yeah. kisses it off the glass and through. They don't have an answer for Allen for sure so far in this one. Davey Fisher going to call for a timeout. We'll do the same. Model 27, Unity 12, 443 left, second quarter. We're back in 30 seconds. Access to me means I get to explore and define myself. Access, that allows me to follow my passion. For me, it means I get to do what I've always dreamed of doing, helping people. Access to me means I'm the first one in my family to come to college. Sé el primero. Model came into this game in riding a four game win streak. They were on the road down at the Rock, beat a really good Rock Mart team 86 to 69 yesterday. They were led in scoring by Stevie Dallas, who had 20, 17 points for Noah Travis, 18 points for Chase Allen. So they had three guys that were well into double digits, yeah. and they just had a big night. That's a big win. So right now, Model is on top of Region 7 AA. They're 5 and 1 in region play. And that uh, four game win streak started with Sonoraville a little over a week ago. They went on the road, beat Temple, then hosted Gordon Central, took them down, went on the road and beat Rotmart. So they're trying to make it five in a row tonight. Jay Davis will drive in the lane, tries to finger roll the ball. Can't get it to the rim there. He has had some Jordan-esque finish attempts, just haven't been able to get one to drop yet. Chase Allen, Chris pass out to Noah Travis on to Denson for three. That one's off the back of the rim. Ball is poked free and out of bounds. It's going to stay with the Blue Devils. John Mason checks into the game and he will immediately stand in front of the Unity bench, survey the floor and get ready to send it in here for the Blue Devils. Jeremiah is going to take a seat here for the Blue Devils. They're going to send it into Stevie Dallas into the backcourt. The Blue Devils are leading this one 27 to 12. We're almost halfway through with the second period. Out of John Mason on the left wing side, tries to lob it underneath. Bryson Denson comes out with it. There's Stevie Dallas trying to string the three, can't get it to go. Jay Davis has got it. He's going to start a drive. Ball's poked loose by Mason, diving for it. Couple of players coming out with it. Owen Mathis gets the 50 50 yeah. ball. Bang, bang play there. Bryson Denson across the timeline now on to Dallas to the left wing side. They go to Mason. Mason up top to Denson. Now on to Owen Mathis. Long range three, and that one's off the side of the rim. Sawyer's there for the rebound for Unity. He'll work it, tries to send it to Wilkerson, and it ricochets off his hand and out of bounds. So back the other way. Model with a 15 point lead right now. So the Blue Devils will send it in to Stevie Dallas, John Mason. Sends it in over in front of the model bench. Across the timeline is Stevie. He'll dribble between his legs before he sends it to Bryson Denson standing in front of the unity bench. Now on to Owen Mathis to Stevie Dallas on the left wing side. They go back up top to Mason. Now inside to Allen. They kick out to Stevie Dallas who drives the lane, splits defenders, gets it through. There was a foul, but I believe it was before the shot. Yeah, I think they're going to get him on the floor. Bowen Childs picks up the foul there, and we get ready for Stevie Dallas to trigger it in here for the Blue Devils underneath their own basket with 314 left to go in the quarter, model leading at 27 to 12. They send it in to Bryson Denson. Denson up top to Mathis. Mathis on to Mason, on to Dallas. 
Back over to Bryson. Now the left wing side. Owen Mathis really wanted to think about that three. Didn't shoot. Gets it into Allen. They try to get it to a cutting Mason, but it's stolen away by Childs. Unity's got it across the timeline. Childs stops. Sends it over to Sawyer. Back to Childs. He'll work on John Mason. Ball's poked loose. It's going to stay with Jay Davis and Unity. Long three on the way, and it's through. Jay Davis. And still... All of Unity's points from behind the arc. That's Davis's second tray. Five made three of the game for Unity. That makes it 26 to 15. So Unity trying to hang tough in this one and not let it get any further away from him than it already has. Stevie Dallas with the ball on the left wing side. He's going to send it across to Owen Mathis. He'll make his move into the paint. Leaves it off for Allen. Gets blocked yeah. by Sawyer. And there's some contact. Nope. Just knocked yeah. it out of bounds. Yeah, solid block there by Sawyer. High point of the ball. Jeremiah's hurt will check in for Chase Allen. Stevie Dallas looks around, trying to find an open man to get the inbound pass to. A crisp pass into Mason, shakes off. Davis puts it up and scores. Yeah, nice move there. Way to keep your pivot foot. Turned around. Nice, soft, little leaner. Mason with his first bucket of the game. It's 29 to 15, long three ball on the way and through. That was Sam James, knocks down his second three. And again, in every shot made by Unity in this game has been a three ball. Bryson Denson into the lane, Euro step, can't get the finish. Jeremiah is there to get the rebound. Stevie Dallas with the three ball on the way. It won't fall. John Mason pokes it free, coming out with it as Childs for Unity. Unity works left to right. They've got it on their side of the floor. Well, ball is stolen away. Model's got it going the other way. Jay Davis was getting ready to break for the bucket with the ball, and he lost the handle. Ball is stolen away. Here's Sawyer. He works coast to coast. Nice move. Can't get it to the rim. It goes off the backboard. Noah Travis with it. After Dallas came away with it, they kick it back out to Dallas. Now onto the right wing side to Mason for three over the rim. Rolls over the rim, rather. Unity has a chance to get this back to single digits on this possession. Wilkerson with it, drives baseline underneath. Got two defenders right on top of them. They steal it away. Mason yeah. comes out with it. Really solid defense there. Model's going to slow it down. 48 seconds on the clock remaining in the second quarter. Model leads at 29 to 18, 11 point lead. Stevie Dallas, Noah Travis jacks up the three and that one's off the side of the rim. Wide right. Now Sawyer's got it here. Andreo for Unity Christian leaves it off for Wilkerson, but Denson's right on top of him. Here's Jay Davis, long range three. That one won't go. And the rebound goes to Model. They got 22 seconds and the shot clock's off. Almost at halftime. Model leading it by 11. Can they punch another one through and add to the lead before halftime? We're about to find out. Bryson Denson, the lob inside to Jeremiah Sir. Back to Denson, on to John Mason. Stevie Dallas, six seconds on the clock. Dallas makes his move, glides to the bucket, and puts it through. And that'll do it. Model's going to lead it at halftime, 31-18 to 18 over the Unity Lions. We'll send it back to the studio for a two-and-a-half-minute break. Access to me means I get to explore and define myself. Access that allows me to follow my passion. For me, it means I get to do what I've always dreamed of doing, helping people. Access to me means I'm the first one in my family to come to college. Sé el primero. They call it Mo Day. A time of fanfare and pride, and another week with the neighborhood's best yard. Because you drafted the MVP of all mowers. A comfortable seat and adjustable controls bring the battle to your turf, not your backside. 
Ride like the wind on your solid steel stallion and give the fans something to cheer about because it's your day. It's Mo Day. WC Timber has been serving the Northwest Georgia and Northeast Alabama area since 1991. As a complete tree and timber service, WC Timber can handle thinning and clear cutting, tree chipping, stump removal, and storm damage, as well as bucket truck and crane services. For more information, visit them on the web at wctimber.com or give them a call at area code 706-238 one two one four WC Timber and Tree Service Crestview Angus your source for premium locally raised beef delivering the finest quality from farm to table contact them on Facebook to place your order today Everybody, we're live at Quarter Gymnasium Model High School. We're models up 31 to 18 over Unity. Before we jump into some numbers there from the first half, do want to let you know that the live stream of Model High School basketball produced by Northwest Georgia Media is being brought to you by Mathis Trailers and Equipment Sales, Georgia Highlands College, by Snodgrass and Robinson Plastic Surgery Specialists, WC Timber, also Dogwood Books, Shannon Pharmacy, and Crestview Angus. Meanwhile, radio coverage on WLAQ 96.9 FM, 1410 AM, and online at WLAQ1410.com is brought to you by Mathis Trailers and Equipment Sales, Sylvan Learning Center, and Ware Mechanical. And we also want to point out the crew tonight on the live stream, Carson Holder and Alyssa Laney doing a great job on the cameras. Nathan Patterson is the director tonight. Replay is David Corbin. PA announcer is Grayson Atkins. And I'm Matt Davis alongside Ian Griffin providing commentary by WLAQ Radio in partnership with Northwest Georgia Media to bring you these broadcasts. We're really enjoying this. It's a tremendous amount of fun. Upcoming basketball coverage for you of model hoops. It'll be model versus Harrelson County on Friday, January the 19th. So if you can't make it, tune in for that. Model will have another game in between, though. That's going to be next Tuesday at Murray County. Both girls and boys back in region play coming up next Tuesday. So uh, looking forward to those as well. Make sure you go on the road and check that game out at Murray County and give these kids some support. That's what it's all about, man. Had a little revenge in that game probably on the Blue Devils' mind, right? Uh, perhaps so. We'll see what happens. But um, nonetheless, we appreciate you being with us here for the game today. And we do want to run down some totals there from the first half. We're going to start with the Unity Lions. At the end of our first quarter, it was a 20 to nine ball game. Um, Unity was able to slow things down a little bit there from the attack from Model there in that second quarter as Model would outscore Unity 11 to nine there in that second quarter. Here's the totals. Unity would make six threes in the ball game. That was all they're scoring. Yep. They're totaling up to their 18. They get two threes from Jay Davis for a total of six, two for Sam James. Those were the two leading scores for Unity. And then knocking down a three apiece would be Jordan Wilkerson and Andreo Sawyer. So solid from the perimeter at times of that first half. And they were getting some opportunity underneath, but just couldn't get the finishes. Yeah. And if they knock down a couple of those shots, we'd be looking at a different ball game here, Ian. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Jay Davis has gotten to the rack, but he's had to make some acrobatic moves and tough finishes. Had they gone down, they would have been highlight material for for sure. And he's capable of making those. Yep. But Model's doing a really good job of putting a wall up and making him adjust his body and his shot. And we wondered how they would handle his athleticism. They've done a good job so far. And done a good job not fouling him because we yeah. have not seen a single free throw attempt in this game for Unity in this ball game. And only one for Unity, if I remember correctly, they converted a three-point play with Chase Allen. Yeah. But uh, we have not seen a lot of trips to the stripe in this ball game. For Model, in, in terms of their scoring, they'd have two apiece from John Mason and Stevie Dallas. A three ball went in for Owen Mathis in the first quarter, so he finished with three in the first half. 
You have five points for Noah Travis, three for Riley Chapman, two for Jeremiah Hurd, and the leading scorer in this game so far was Chase Allen, who couldn't be stopped there for much of that first half. He knocked down 14 points, and it was split evenly between the first and the second quarter, Ian. Yeah, yeah, he's been a monster, and there is a clear advantage in the post as far as the height of Chase Allen and Jeremiah's herd, and I'd expect Model to continue to work on that in the second half. And, you know, as far as Model's concerned, we mentioned Unity, all their scoring from the perimeter, knocking down six threes. Model hadn't been a slouch there no. either. They knocked down four, and they've also been able to get inside in the paint, like you say, with Chase Allen and get some point-blank buckets underneath. Uh, so Model has really had a, a good range of ways of scoring here in this basketball game. Yeah, yeah they're knocking them in from all areas on the court. Well, we're going to go ahead and take one more time out, and then we'll get you ready for the start of the second half. Model 31, Unity 18. This one not out of reach for Unity. No. Uh, if they can surge here in the third quarter, they might be able to make a ball game of this one. Let's find out. We'll send it back to the studio for a two-and-a-half-minute break. We'll be back on Northwest Georgia Media and WLAQ. Introducing the new Onward High Performance Lithium Ion Personal Transportation Vehicle from Club Car. When it comes to style, power, and performance, look no further. The Onward HP Lithium Ion exceeds expectations with impressive hill climbing performance and high power acceleration. No other vehicle in the industry can compete. Our automotive quality, self-contained battery is protected by a corrosion-resistant and watertight steel case. This state-of-the-art battery is maintenance-free. And with an industry-leading six-year battery warranty, you can rest easy knowing your Onward HP Lithium-Ion is ready when you are. Welcome to the next era of club car innovation. Crestview Angus, your source for premium locally raised beef, delivering the finest quality from farm to table. Contact them on Facebook to place your order today. Hey, we're glad to be with you tonight here with live coverage of Model Basketball, produced by Northwest Georgia Media on the live stream, and also uh, we're with you on WLAQ, and I've just realized we're Almost, well, we're um, all the way halfway through our second game of the night. We're six quarters into the evening, so to speak, and I haven't even mentioned Lynn Butler back at the studio. How dare I, man? He's Jeez, holding the man. fort down. Sorry, Lynn. But uh, Lynn Butler at Command Central back at WLAQ tonight. All right, Sawyer's got it. Or rather, Childs sends it to Sawyer. Now back to Childs and to Davis. Ball is not free. Model comes out with it. Chase Allen's got it after the pass from Riley Chapman after he was able to peel it away. Now to the right wing side, they go to Noah Travis. Ball is poked free and out of bounds by Childs. Got his hands in there. Very good hands by Childs. As Travis got the ball in the corner and decided to make the extra pass. Model it at 31 to 18 at halftime. We're just underway with our third quarter. Here's Jeremiah Surd taking the line pass underneath. Can't get it. 
in the bucket. Jay Davis has got it for Unity heading the other way. Backs off a defender and scores off the glass. And the first two-point bucket of the night for Unity finally falls in the second half. Cut it to 11. Noah Travis on the left wing side. They're really Noah Travis going to lob it underneath to Chase Allen. He's in between two defenders, and they really slow to blow the whistle on the jump ball there. Yeah. I'm not even sure what the call is at this point. Looks like they called the jump ball, and yeah. that'll stay with Model. Going to have a sub into the game right out of the gate here for Unity. And Sam James checks in. He's got six points here for Unity. Unity's cut it back to 11, so a score away from making it a single-digit game. Tre um, Stevie Dallas off the inbound pass, jacks up the three. Long rebound goes to Chase Allen, puts the shot up, can't get it to go. Jeremiah Sir got the rebound, gave it to Stevie Dallas, and he gets it with the little runner. Yeah, yeah, nice little soft finish there at the rim by Stevie Dallas. Unity with the ball, three ball on the way. That one's off the side of the rim. Riley Chapman gets the long rebound. Cross court pass is going to go to Noah Travis. He'll send it to Stevie Dallas all the way around to Riley Chapman, who bounces it down to Jeremiah's herd. And I guess the ball was kicked. Huh. Model will get ready to inbound the ball from the baseline. Surveying the floor is Stevie Dallas. He's going to send it out to Riley Chapman now on to Stevie. Stevie on the left wing side, back out to Allen, around to Chapman in the right wing corner. Thought about the three, but had Jay Davis standing a few feet away from him, thought otherwise. Oh, They're giving him that shot if he wants it. Riley Chapman trying to lob it underneath to Jeremiah, gives it right back to Chapman. Chapman tied up between three defenders. Here's Stevie Dallas trying to get it to the rim, and that's off the glass and through for Jeremiah's herd. You heard the buzzer go off for the shot clock, but it hit the rim. But the ball yeah. had hit the rim. Jay Davis has got it, sends it left wing side to Wilkerson. Wilkerson with it, drives with those pink shoes on, feeds it underneath. Ball is going to be blocked. Sharp pass to Chapman on the right wing side from Noah Travis. Now back up to Jeremiah's inside of Chase Allen, turns and it rattles in. Woo. He is having his way in the paint tonight. Chase Allen was 16 tonight, had 18 against a really good Rockmark team yesterday. That one clanks off the back, off the front of the rim there for Davis. Rebound goes to Model. Model leads it by 17, by the way. Riley Chapman with the three ball on the left wing side, decides not to take it, sends it back up to Noah Travis on to Chase Allen. Allen on to Dallas. Now to Riley Chapman, open Noah Travis, three ball on the way and, and through. Travis has been waiting. The lid's been on the basket for him tonight. Such a good shooter. It's hard for a guy like that to watch him not fall, but that one was pure. Noah now with eight. He's made two threes in this game and another field goal. Driving the kick out, three ball on the way. That one's off the front of the rim. And Jay Davis is going to get called for over the back there, Ian. Yeah, it's the right call. And this is ballooned to a 20 point lead. Model can do that to you in the blink of an eye. We saw that happen in the girls' game, did. too. It was a close one for a while, and boy, they just exploded offensively. Here comes Unity on the other end. They needed that, and they got it from Bowen Childs. That's wild, too, because Allen was defending Jay Davis. They just let, they let Childs waltz to the basket. Here's Chase Allen being guarded by two guys for Unity. Ball is poked free, but Allen is going to hang on to it. Noah Travis going to send it across to Stevie Dallas. Long range three ball in the air. Yes, sir. What a shot. Oh, baby. That was something. Yeah, and a good look there. Jay Davis working on Riley Chapman, spins around, kicks it out. Three ball is through. What a finish from Andreo Sawyer from deep. 43-25 model on top. Good answer on the other end by Unity on that last possession. Noah Travis, Stevie Dallas, another long range ball. That Ooh. one goes in and out. Thought it was going to rim in there. Uh, oh. Chase Allen cleans it up, gets the offensive rebound and the putback. And Allen has now matched his totals last night against Rockmart. He's got 18 points, and we still got a long way to go in this yes, one. Yes, we do. 
There's Childs with it, sends it out to Wilkerson. Quick three on the way, goes in and out. Sawyer with a good offensive rebound there. Wilkerson drives baseline, sends it back out to around the perimeter. Good save there by James. Ball poked free by Travis, though it goes out of bounds. What do we got? We got a substitution for model. Yeah. Bryson Denson checks in for Riley Chapman. James will send it in motion here for Unity. They've got it on their side of the floor. Davis works around a screen, sends it back out to Wilkerson. Wilkerson drives the kick out to Childs, puts up the shot. That'll be a two ball, but it goes in and out. The iron unkind there. Stevie Dallas nearly had a pass picked off, but model retains possession. Denson, two point blank looks, gets the second to go. 47-25, model leads it. Jay Davis takes it coast to coast and gets blocked by Jeremiah, but there's also a little bit of contact there. Yeah, so. yeah. And John Hurd did a great job in the first half of really keeping his body under control and going straight up. That time he definitely was, was giving way and got him with the body, and that'll put Davis at the line for two shots. And this, by the way, will be the first free throws of the game here for Unity, and the first one is made by Jay Davis, and if you're Unity, that definitely has got to be a part of your recipe right now is finding yeah. a way to challenge and get yourself to the free throw line and get some points for the clock stop because time will become a factor before too long if it isn't already. With Model on top by 21. Davis will put up the second, and he, that one rattles off the rim. Stevie Dallas sends it down to the left wing side, and Mason, Mason, nope, Owen Mathis rather. Now on to Bryson Denson, back up top now to Mason, now to Denson. Denson will try to dribble around, loses the handle, ends up into the hands of Wilkerson. Look what I found, but it's stolen right back from John Mason. Mason, two on two, goes in, gets blocked by Jay Davis, but he draws the foul. Yeah, little Euro step got him right there to the hoop, and he was definitely hacked. So John Mason at the free throw line with a pair coming up for him at 2.08 left to go in the third quarter. We've got something good on the menu tonight for, for dinner. At the I hadn't figured that out, but it's, uh, it, it, it's happening right after this ball game. We'll wrap this thing up and I'm gonna go find something, Matt. Yeah, me too, man. I've got something in mind. I might go with the tried and true. The cheer wine float? I'm going with the cheer wine float tonight. That's the best way to cap off a Saturday night tonight. John Mason at the line. Get ready to shoot the first one, and that one's right through. He'll get ready for a second. I tell you, this is this is not a knock on any of the other model players, but John Mason, you notice when he gets on the floor, that kid gives 110% every moment he's on the floor. He is a hustler. Another one coming up here for John Mason. He made the first free throw. Can he make the second? Nope, goes in and out. Ball is going to go back to Model. Kind of pinballed off a few players. The model came out with it. Stevie Dallas puts up the three ball and he drills it. My goodness. Oh. Second made three of the night here for Stevie. 51 to 26. And the lead grows for the Blue Devils. Here's a three ball on the other side. That one caroms off the rim. Allen chased down the yeah. board and gets bumped. Going to get Whitehead with that one. Stevie Dallas now in double digits after that last three. By the way, he's got 10. Only had two at halftime, so he's had a good third quarter. He really has. Mathis with it on the left wing side, starts to drive baseline, dribbles back out, is trapped, so he gives it to Stevie Dallas. Dallas with a jab step and the fake. Standing at the center court stripe. Here's a three ball on the way, and it's through for Owen Mathis. Mathis gets hot. It's his second three of the game. He now has six points. And the Blue Devils continue to build that lead, 54 to 26, 108 remaining here in the third quarter. Wilkerson with it, drives baseline, now works his way back around the perimeter, gives it out to Childs. Now underneath, you had Sawyer breaking towards the bucket, trying to leave it for Whitehead, and it was tipped out of bounds. Under a minute to go here, 28-point lead. 
Stevie Dallas to Mason. Owen Mathis on the left wing side. Now back to Dallas. Bryson Denson with it. Now to Dallas. Owen Mathis thought about the three, sends it back out to Dallas. He'll pull the trigger. That one's over the rim. Yeah. And we got a foul. So it looks like we're going to see Denson go into the free. Th no. 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 No, it was on the floor. But it will stay with Mile. Thomas Patterson's going to check into the game. Sorghum syrup warrior himself. I knew it was coming. Oh, Bryson Denson surveys the floor, set the trigger it in. He's going to find John Mason on the right wing. He'll drive right to the lane, wow. puts it up and through. And that, and that, that puts the lead at 30 points. Ooh. That just happened so quickly. Wilkerson, and that's going to be a walk for Wilkerson, shuffled his feet as he was getting ready to make a move with the ball. And now with 22.5 seconds left, Model's going to get the ball back, as you mentioned, leading this by 30 points. And if it remains 30 or more, we'll have a short in the fourth quarter down to six minutes. We'll see. Owen Mathis crossed the timeline with it. Here for the Blue Devils. Has his pocket pit. Childs has got it. Goes in and lays it in. Hung on the rim for a minute there. That's why we kind of paused, but he was able to knock it through. That cuts it back to 28. Here's Bryson Denson for three on the way, and that one's in and out. Patterson with the put back oh. at the buzzer. It won't go, and it remains a 28-point deficit. So that's the end of the third quarter. Model leads it 56 to 28 over the Unity Lions. We're back in one minute. Northwest Georgia Media would like to say thank you to the following sponsors. Mathis Trailer and Equipment, Georgia Highlands College, Snodgrass and Robinson, Plastic Surgery Specialists, WC Timber, Dogwood Books, Shannon Pharmacy, and Crestview Angus. Thank you to all our sponsors for making this broadcast possible. And the good news is Unity was able to score the most points in a quarter for them in this game. They scored 10. The other two quarters, they scored nine apiece. But the bad news is Model also scored more points than they have in any other quarter of the game. Model outscored Unity 25 to 10 there in that third frame. So I guess a little good news, bad news there, if you will. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So Model leads it going into the fourth quarter. 56 to 28 is your score. And right now with it is Davis. He's going to drive and now kick it out to Wilkerson. Feeds it across to Childs. He's got two defenders on him immediately. There is Davis now back to Childs. He's going to feed it on to Wilkerson. Good ball movement. Shot is up. Can't get the finish, though. And Allen gets the rebound. Riley Chapman over to Chase Allen. Allen across the timeline. Gives it over to Stevie Dallas. Dallas having a big night tonight, as usual. Driving baseline is Chase Allen. Out to Riley Chapman, leaves that one well short. Allison track, or Allen checks it down and then gets fouled. Yeah, Sawyer went up and put a block, but he got a lot of arm. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see Chase Allen go back to the strike where he has been once and converted a three point play in the second quarter. Allen in this game has 18 points, having a big night tonight for the Blue Devils. Yes, he is. First shot's up is a miss. He'll get ready for a second is checking into the game is Sam James for Whitehead and Unity Lions. So Allen with one more coming up from the strike. Model basketball for you on WLAQ and also Northwest Georgia Media's live stream. Second shot, that one won't go. And But Riley Chapman is able to track it down and come out with the ball. Noah Travis sends it on to Stevie Dallas who leaps up and grabs a hold of it. Keeps it from going out of bounds. There's Travis, now on to Riley Chapman. 
Chapman on the left wing side bounces it down to Jeremiah Sir. Now back out to Stevie Dallas. Got to work now. Five seconds on the shot clock. Here's Stevie Dallas into the lane. It's going to be on the floor. Nick Childs. Got Bowen Childs with that one. So Stevie Dallas will survey the floor, set the trigger and in motion for the Blue Devils offense. They get into Riley Chapman now into the corner to Stevie underneath the Allen and he'll lay it in. Oh, Matt wanted him I to wanted just it. slam that sucker. <laughs> but he kissed it off the glass and said, that's 20, right? It is All 20, right. yep. Here's Jay Davis, sends it out to Childs. Now they go back up top to James on a Wilkinson ball knocked loose by Chapman, kept it in, trying to get it to Travis, chases it down, he's got it. Drives baseline, Travis trying to get it to the rim, gets fouled. Yeah, a little game of hot potato there along the sideline. Travis chases it down. So Wilkerson charged with the foul and Noah Travis is at the free throw line. He's got a pair coming up here as we're down to the 636 mark of the game with model leading at 58 to 28. So a 30 point lead for the Blue Devils make it 31 biggest lead of the game. Get ready for the second shot from Noah Travis. Starting to see some subs make their way into the game for both teams. Well, right now for Unity. Second shot's going to rattle in, so he makes them both. Noah Travis does, and Ian, he's got 10 points. Kind of a quiet 10 yeah, points. Yeah, I was tonight. about to say, yeah. he's done it rather quietly. Yeah. You're exactly right. Jay Davis has got it. Three ball on the way. That one's off the back of the rim. Chasing it down is Stevie Dallas. A model work back the other way here playing at home, leading it by 32. Now on to Chase Allen. Allen starts to drive, puts it up, and gets fouled. He's going to the line. I think see uh, Thomas Patterson and Owen Mathis both waiting to come in. And John, John Mason. Mason as well. Right now for Unity on the floor, you've got Wilkerson, James, also Ben Rook, Jay Davis, and the fifth player is Childs. Shot is through there from Chase Allen. He'll get ready for his second of the pair. And again, Model came into this game in with a four game win streak that they were riding into this matchup. Started with Sonorville, beat them, beat Temple on the road, beat Gordon Central. This, this week here at home, and then they went on the road and beat Rockmart yesterday, and now they're having their way with Unity. What a great stretch here yeah. for the Blue Devils. Wilkerson on to Childs. Back to Wilkerson, shot on the way. That one's off the side of the rim. Jay Davis tracks it down. Driving as Davis puts it up, and there's just not nah, been a lot of luck yeah. for him around the rim in this game. The model's done a really, really good job defending him. Here's Chase Allen tries to send it to Owen Mathis, and the ball goes out of bounds, kind of sailed on him a little bit. And that'll do it for Chase Allen's night, a 21-point effort. Yep, yep. Big night for him, for sure. The Jay Davis will bring it up the floor here for the Lions. He's across the center court stripe. Going to leave it off for Child, um, Child, uh, Childs, yep, is right. And that's going to rattle in for Childs. Bowen has got six points in this game. They're going to feed it to Bryson Denson on the left wing side. The Blue Devils do. John Mason's got it at the top of the key. Going to send it out to Stevie Dallas. Now back out to Owen Mathis. Now on to John Mason. Mason being guarded by Ben Rook. He'll drive baseline and rolls it in. Yeah, what nice a step. move. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Pump fake and then great finish at the glass. 506 remaining in the game. Model up 63 to 30. There's Jay Davis with the putback, knocks it through. Davis now with 11 points. Stevie Dallas across the timeline, under five minutes to play in this one. Model up by 31 points. Stevie Dallas glides to the rim and puts it through. What an effortless move he made that look like. On the other end, Jay Davis shakes off the defender, gets it off the glass, but can't get it through. John Mason's got the ball. He's going to work it across center court here for the Blue Devils. 
Bryson Denson now on to Mason, will drive baseline, goes in, bounces it out to Stevie Dallas, open three on the way, that one's off the rim. Here's Patterson with a little hook shot, can't get it to go, tracks down his own rebound. Stevie Dallas to lob out to Denson on to Owen Mathis, 4-3, can't get the shot, it was a good sequence as far as ball movement, there's Patterson, and he cleans it up. Nice effort there by Thomas Patterson, cleaning up the offensive glass and getting the put back. Here's the shot from Wilkerson. He's able to roll it in. Wilkerson with five in the game. 67 to 34, model on top by 33. Here's Denson with it on the left wing side. Back out to Owen Mathis. Mathis will start to drive, then feeds it back out to Denson. Now around to John Mason. Mason will drive into the paint, bounces it back out to Denson, dribbles between his legs, feeds it off to Owen Mathis. Now on to Stevie Dallas up top to Mason. 11 seconds on the shot clock. Owen Mathis, John Mason starts to drive, goes in, feeds it out. Stevie Dallas for three, and it's off the top of the rim. Won't go. The putback won't fall, and Jay Davis has got it. Motors across the floor. Nice bounce over to Childs. Can't catch up with it, though. Now Childs has got it down to Wilkerson, and he will back up and send it to Davis in the corner on the left wing side. Now back to Wilkerson. He'll start to make a move. Sends it back out. James to Wilkerson. Wilkerson into the paint, puts it up over Patterson and gets fouled. Good effort there. Every time Unity thought they would have a shot, there was a model defender right in their face, and model's really done a good job. Unity got definitely hit some threes, but it hasn't been easy, and most of those shots have been contested. So we got Wilkerson at the free throw line for Unity. And he puts up the shot. That one caroms off the rim. Hadn't been a good night for him. Just unfortunate. Ball's, ball's been halfway down for him a few times. Wholesale yeah. change here. Big time. We'll try to catch some names for you. I know we got Max Couch out there. Also Christian Taylor, as well as Dominic Fraley, as well as Bryson Bell onto the floor for the Blue Devils. And who's our fifth player? Shot on the way, and it's through for Wilkerson. And it uh, Braden one. Marshall. Braden Marshall. Thank you, sir. So the Blue Devils bring it across the center court stripe. They send it to the left wing side. Now back outside to the right wing they go. Marshall with it. Up top they go. Back around to Bell. Shot on the way. That's off the back of the rim. It won't go. But Model gets the rebound. Steps back. Feeds it up to the top of the key. Now the feed back outside over into the corner. Thought about the corner three. Didn't pull the trigger. Model still with the ball. 15 seconds left on the shot clock. Ball's poked free. James has got it. He's over in the corner on the right wing side for Unity. Back up top to Wilkerson. Open three, and that one won't go. Ball is out of bounds. Last touch yep. by Unity. Go back the other way. So Davis Blankenship's going to sub into the game here for Unity. Number 44. Now they're going to feed it out to Bell. Now back around to the right wing side to Marshall underneath the Fraley. He drives baseline, kept his feet in bounds. Nice move. A reverse layup with the finish. Whew. That was something. Davis across the timeline for Unity. Under two minutes to play in this one. There's Jay Davis, a move to the rim. Can't get it to go. It's been a tough night for him around the rim. Model 69, Unity 35. Model with it on the other end. Bell for three off the front of the rim. Oh. And Jay Davis has got it. Two on one down to Wilkerson in favor of Unity. Ball won't go. Here's Davis with the putback, and it's through. I thought they were going to go a little razzle-dazzle there for a second. I did, too. We were ready if they did. Owen Mathis sends it, gets it on the right wing side. No, no that's not Owen Mathis. Kind of looks a little like him, though. They send it back up top. Now on the left wing side, Marshall thought about the three, drives, puts it up off the glass, can't get it to go, but Fraley's there to clean it up. Dominic Fraley for two, he's got two buckets late. He did. Yeah, good looking young player there. 108 left to go in the ball game. Model is eclipsed 70 points. There's Wilkerson for three, can't get it to go. Coming down with the rebound is gonna be Marshall here for Model. Tries to work it the other way. We're under a minute to play. Model 71, Unity 37. Bell sends it to the right wing side. Here's Marshall. Little floater won't go. Davis comes out with it. Here he goes the other way. Going to work inside. Goes in. Tries the jam. Doesn't quite get it over the rim. And here's Wilkerson. He goes in, drives baseline, and travels. Get him for a walk. And this one's winding down. Matt Model with a 
Another win. This four or five in a row. This will be five. Five in a row. Yeah. This will extend the streak to five. Ball loose on the floor, picked up by Davis. 28 seconds on the clock. The shot clock is off the rest of the way. A little finger roll. Can't get it to go yeah, for Davis. Yeah. Been that kind of night for Jay Davis. Really unusual for sure. Brandon Marshall has got it for model on the other end of the floor now. Gonna leave it off for teammate Christian Taylor. Now they send it to the left wing side, back up top. Now on to Marshall, to Taylor on the right wing. Now they go back to Bell. He's gonna put up the three, and it's through. Bryson Bell knocks down the three ball. And that's the end of the ball game. Model's gonna win this one, 74 to 37, and extend their win streak to five games and move the season record to 11 and seven. And this was a non-region game, so the region record holds at five and one. And your final score again, Model 74, Unity 37. We're going to send it back to the studio for two and a half minutes. We'll come back, run down the scoring, and wind things down on the broadcast tonight. Glad you're with us. Congratulations to Coach Travis and the Model Blue Devils on a solid victory tonight over Unity. We'll be back in two and a half. Northwest Georgia Media would like to say thank you to the following sponsors. Mathis Trailer and Equipment, Georgia Highlands College, Snodgrass and Robinson Plastic Surgery Specialists, WC Timber, Dogwood Books, Shannon Pharmacy, and Crestview Angus. Thank you to all our sponsors for making this broadcast possible. Crestview Angus, your source for premium locally raised beef, delivering the finest quality from farm to table. Contact them on Facebook to place your order today. WC Timber has been serving the Northwest Georgia and Northeast Alabama area since 1991. As a complete tree and timber service, WC Timber can handle thinning and clear cutting, tree chipping, stump removal, and storm damage as well as bucket truck and crane services. For more information, visit them on the web at wctimber.com or give them a call at area code 706-238-1214. WC Timber and Tree Service. Access to me means I get to explore and define myself. Access? That allows me to follow my passion. For me, it means I get to do what I've always dreamed of doing, helping people. Access to me means I'm the first one in my family to come to college. Sé el primero. They call it Mo Day, a time of fanfare and pride, and another week with the neighborhood's best yard because you drafted the MVP of all mowers. A comfortable seat and adjustable controls bring the battle to your turf, not your backside. Ride like the wind on your solid steel stallion and give the fans something to cheer about because it's your day, it's mow day. Side at Winter Gymnasium. One more time for tonight's broadcast. Break down the scoring there from our second game, but it was a successful night for both model teams, picking up victories over Unity and non-region play. They'll get back into region play coming up next week. We'll tell you the details on that in just a couple of moments. But uh, anyway, we'll go ahead and run down the scoring. We'll start with the Unity Lions visiting here tonight, and they would be paced by Jay Davis, who had 12 points, six apiece for four guys. For Jordan Wilkerson, Bowen Childs, also Andreo Sawyer and Sam James, they would pick up seven total threes in the game. Six of those in were in the first half. They only knocked yeah. down one in that second half of the ball game. Yeah, all their first half points off of three-pointers. That's right. 
Meanwhile, for the model Blue Devils, they would pick up nine made threes in the contest, had 10 players that got in the scorebook, and they would have three players that got into double digits, had a couple others that were kind of creeping up on that. But John Mason would have seven points in the game, 12 points for Stevie Dallas, six points for Owen Mathis, 10 for Noah Travis, three points for Riley Chapman. He would have three points also for Bryson Bell, who knocked down a three late there in the fourth quarter, four points for Jeremiah Hurd, two for Thomas Patterson, and four for Dominic Fraley. And the leading scorer tonight for the Blue Devils and overall, Having a great night tonight, just a great weekend in general. Chase Allen had 21 points. He could not be stopped through nope. three quarters of that basketball game. And he had 18 against Rockmart yesterday. Have yourself a weekend there, Chase. Yeah, take Sunday off. Have a, have a nice family meal and uh, you know, rest up for next week. Uh, but again, just a good team effort from the model Blue Devils as they win five in a row and, and sit firmly. This one didn't have any effect on it, but sitting firmly in first place in their region. That's right. And so that's pretty much going to put a wrap on things today. I do want to have an, take an opportunity to recognize the crew again on cameras on the live stream, Carson Holder and Alyssa Laney. Director tonight was Nathan Patterson, David Corbin on replay. PA announcer, PA announcer was Grayson Atkins. And do want to let you know what's coming up for model basketball. They're going to be on the road at Murray County coming up on Tuesday for girls and boys varsity basketball. So be on the lookout for that. The next coverage on the radio and the live stream is going to be against Harrelson County on Friday, January 19th. That's not next Friday, I assume, at 6 and 7.30 again for those games. But uh, we'll be there for those games for you as well. So really looking forward to that. But that's going to put a wrap on our broadcast. Just want to take an opportunity to thank the crew again. Um, for Ian Grivis, Griffin, appreciate you, man. Always fun calling these Hi, games man. with you. It was a blast. For Lynn Butler back at the studio at WLAQ Radio, I'm Matt Davis saying so long, everybody. Congratulations. Congratulations to the Model Blue Devils. They win in the boys game 74 to 37 in the girls game earlier tonight. It was a 60 to 38 victory for the Model Lady Devils. That puts a wrap on it for tonight. We'll send it back to CBS Sports here on WAQ. Have a great night, everybody. We appreciate you.